Microsoft hates me. They have they have to hate me. So I'm chilling. Just you know, just finished making some videos. I wasn't even sure I was gonna make some videos today, but something happened and got inspired. Decided to make some videos, and um, I'm posting them on Twitter. And um, let me tell you, man, some of you guys are hilarious. Some of you guys are really funny. Um, Mister Ten Thirty sends me a tweet, and it says, uh, "Okay, Doc, here you go, hot off the press with exclamation marks." And he already knows what's gonna happen. I think it's something exciting. This is what this. I don't know if you're a guy or a girl. Well, Mr. I'm assuming I'm not going to assume nothing. I don't know if this is a guy or a girl, Mr. 1030. This is what he sends me. And I know that he's laughing as I'm opening it. Create products that really excite gamers and give people choice, something that they can get drawn into playing games and maybe it becomes a reflection of who they are as a gamer. Do you know what draws us into playing games, Microsoft? Games. Games are what draws us into playing games. Now, shout out to... I can't remember your name, man. I'm, I'm sorry about that. Somebody pointed out to me that Microsoft does promote games on this channel. And they actually do promote games on this channel. They do. But they also promote... This is a two-minute video. And 27, 27... I can't even speak right now. On a controller. On a controller. Why? It's the, it's the same controller we've been had since November. It's just a different color. And then they drop. Then they drop a dope beat, and it's like, yo, okay, I'm not gonna lie. You got me with the reggaeton beat, but that one you got me. I'm not gonna lie, cause I'm biased. I'm Hispanic. That the beat was fire. The controller looked a little bit more custom than this. Boy, look, look at two minutes and twenty seconds. This is this is so. Oh Hi, my I'm God! I'm Carl Ledbetter. I'm What's up, Carl? Director of design for Xbox devices. I work with the design team that uh, cool, Carl. designs products like this. Uh, I you... gotta admit, I've seen the box design. Yeah, we've all seen. We've all seen the box. We've all seen the box. I can't. I can't. I'm about to become a meme. I am about to become a meme of me crying because we've all seen this box, Carl. And definitely seen the design of the controller. But I have not. We've all seen this, the design of the controller. What is he about to say? He better not say, but well, we, we haven't all seen it together. I actually unboxed one before, so let's let's dive in. And see Carl needs to stop. Carl needs to okay, stop. Okay, here we go. Carl needs to stop. Yes. Ooh. Did he really act surprised? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, Mr. Mr. 1030. Oh, I'm tweeting you right now. I hate you. I really don't. But I'm tweeting you right now. Right now. Oh my God. He acted surprised. Man, it looks beautiful in this white background. This is actually the. This, <laughs> this is the type of stuff that the Sony ponies. <laughs> Horizon Forbidden West just dropped the state of play. It looked amazing. You got Carl unboxing a controller. And the, maybe there's a new game inside the box. There's got to be. Man, let me get to the end of the video. Third in a series of woodland camouflage inspired patterns. The two previous ones run the last generation controller. We knew we had to do something different and special with this one. No, you didn't. You didn't. You didn't. <laughs> and so the team went after that. Monique Chatterjee, the lead designer for this, she worked to be influenced by things you see in streetwear and in fashion. And it, it really brings kind of a fresh perspective to what camouflage is. Yo, tricolor camouflage has been done by the military for a long time. Actually, they've switched over now to digital patterns. So this is not something new. Of course, it's a little bit smaller. It's designed to fit more hands and be equally as comfortable to more people. 
It has a new D-pad design. No, no, no. It's not. It's not a new D-pad. It's the same D-pad we've had since November. This is. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Basically influenced from the Elite controller, so it gives you more precise control whether you're doing sweeps or more cardinal directions. It also has a share button on it, which really. Yo, respect to Carl. Carl's doing this like it's the first time he's seen this controller. That is dedication to it. He's like, I ain't getting fired. It really enables people to instantly capture screenshots and uh, game clips. Is he explaining what the share? Oh my God. Oh my God. And it just makes it super easy. It has not only the standard textured. Triggers, He's really going to explain the additional texture the, on the bumper. The only so thing new is the color. Continuous tactile experience across these controls. Oh, and bro, course, they, are the the they are grip. pimps. They are pimps. It has the USB C port on it. They the are pimps. It gives you easy and convenient plug and play, and you can access it when you want to have the rechargeable battery kit. This dude's telling me how to use the USB. <laughs> The team has been working on what we call PCR resin, post-consumer recycled resin, when we make our products. So we're using recycled materials to make this controller. And that's pretty exciting. No, it's not. No, it's not. Really, I'm sorry, it's not. It's striking. Lives up to its name. <laughs> I'm going to go play Halo. I can't. I can't. I can't. You happy, mister? You happy? <sighs> dog dog went on A5. There's levels to this. Are you kidding me, Microsoft? Are you... <clears throat> Go ahead. Go ahead, Xbox fans. Defend this. Come on. Defend it. <sighs> we don't need a two-minute video on controllers. We, we, we really don't. We out. Peace.